Hey, welcome to Kate's Crafts. I'm Kate. Today I would like to share with you a few cards that I made using Lawn Fawn's new Snowflake Background Hot Foil Plate. Let's get started. To start, I have already gone ahead and plugged in my Spellbinders Glimmer Hot Foil system, and I have let that heat up. These are some of the things that I'm going to be working with. They are all Glimmer Foil rolls that I have here. The yellow silver, or sorry, the yellow gold and the silver are the foil that came with the system when um, I received it. Uh, this little doohickey here is just a little magnetic thing that you can move your hot foil plates to and from the cooling mat. And this other doohickey here that I have is a self-healing mat and it comes with this little plastic thing with a grid on it and some lines that you can slot these little dudes through and cut your foil so you're not wasting a whole lot. Um, I think I seen this on a Carrie Rhodes video and she was talking about it and I ended up finding it on sale so I figured it couldn't hurt. Plus this foil, if you're not careful, you can crinkle it and it kind of doesn't look very good if you use crinkled foil so you kind of got to be careful when you're storing them. So what I'm going to do here is I will lay my foil face down with the shiny side down and then I'll put my piece of black cardstock on, the shim, and then the plastic thing. And I will not use anything else but this to run it through my Sizzix Big Shot. Now it might be different for you, but this is how I do it. And there are plenty of videos out there that show you how to use this thing. So. If my description isn't that good, I suggest you go find another video because sometimes I'm not the best at explaining how to do things. I just do them. <laughs> so anyway, what I'm doing here is because I've got so much foil left over from this beautiful snowflake background, I have flipped over my um, foiling plate to the clear side and I'm going to put my black cardstock and repeat the pattern. Uh, this, I guess, there is such a thing as a solid foil plate, but I don't have it, and I wanted to see what would happen if I did it this way. Now, the way the heat transfers through it wasn't very good, but I still got this distressed, grungy kind of look, which I kind of liked, because you could kind of see the snowflakes, but you kind of couldn't. So here this is in the yellow gold that came with the system. You can see how it's pressed into the back. And that's the comparison of the two, of the gold, yellow gold and the silver. And that's the excess foil that I used for the um, other cards I will be making today. So those are those. And this is the red, which I think is absolutely pretty. And this is the matte gold that I didn't quite foil properly. And then I took the excess matte gold and foiled it on top of the yellow gold and the red on top of the silver and I'll use that stuff later. So these are the two panels that I'm going to work with. I had originally made other cards but it didn't work out in my favor with recording them so we're going to do this now. So what I've got here is the outside in stitch rectangle die and then I've got the snowflake border by this is all lawn fawn. Uh, this is a Recollections paper. It is the white gold shimmer cardstock, and I'm going to cut that border snowflake out just so I can cover up the um, the missed foil bits there that I missed out on. And when I did cut this out, I had to be very careful pulling it out of the paper because this is so delicate and kind of a little difficult to work with but the results of it are really pretty so if you do have the patience to at least do one card with this I recommend it. Uh, if you don't have the patience then don't bother. <laughs> but I really like how this little die turns out but it is a pain in the butt to do so. Here I have the Recollections red foil cardstock and the outside in stitch rectangle die and I'm going to create another panel just to kind of break up the black and gold and the white gold that I have here. Well, it's not really white gold, but it is a white gold shimmer. And I thought it would look really nice with the gold uh, hot foiled snowflakes, but I don't know, it needed something to break it up, like a pop of color. So 
that's what I've done here. Now I've partial die cut this thing out and I'm just trimming off the sides so that way it's nice and neat and then I will take some glue and I will glue all of this together. Um, I'll use the Tombow Mono Glue and the tape runner and then I'll use a little squidgy bottle of Tombow Mono Glue and put it all over the snowflakes but I will spare you the tediousness of it so all I'm going to do here is line everything up and you can see that I've got that cute little border and once I've let that dry I have a I think it's a woodware uh, clear magic singles. I've got a set of them where it's just a bunch of holiday greetings like Merry Christmas, Season's Greetings, and Happy New Year and all that. So I'm going to take some more tape runner and some more glue and adhere that to the panel. I'm not using any foam tape or anything like that. I just want this to be flat. I didn't really think it was necessary to add any extra bulk to it. And uh, I didn't want it to have a white border. I mean, I considered having a white border, but I kind of liked it without the white border because you've got the white on the bottom. Maybe if I'd had like a different color or something, but I kind of like that little band of red that the red poses to break up the snowflakes and the snowflakes kind of thing. And this was just kind of something I threw together on the fly. I wasn't really thinking it through because I had already, like I said before in the, in the beginning of the video, I had already made, did I say? I don't know if I said. I might not have said, I might have said, I don't know, that was a while back. It's taken me a while to edit this darn video. But I did make some other cards, and I had recorded them last night, but I should know better than to craft and being tired. So I kind of screwed up the um, footage. I didn't zoom out far enough and far in. Far out? Far enough? Far out? Far out. <laughs> and I messed it up. So these were those panels that I had used the excess foil on. Uh, one of the sides has the red and the silver on it. I just went back over it because I wasn't too keen on it. And I wanted something just with just the red. So I've got this extra packaging from something that I'm just cutting down to size. And I'm going around each spot of the back sides of the panels with some double-sided foam not double-sided foam. What am I talking about? <laughs> Some double-sided adhesive. That's it. And I'm going to create myself a pocket. There are tons of videos out there on the specifics on how to make a shaker, flat shaker card. Uh, I do have another video explaining how I made it, so if, uh, if you don't know how to make these yet, Go ahead and look for those videos. If not, uh, I can try and remember to leave a link in the description below of the other flat shakers that I've made. Now, these shaker elements that I am using are the round um, confetti shakers, red round confetti shakers, and then the rose gold cups. Now, I don't know how to say the company's name. I don't know if it's Hay or Hi or it's H-A-I Supply. Maybe you know, and you can let me know in the comments below, because I like their confetti, I just don't know how to pronounce their name. <laughs> so all I'm doing here is taking some of my double-sided tape and overlapping where the plastic is, so that way I can make sure that everything's nice and sealed up in there. And I am going to add this to my card base to create a white border, and I will do that for both. Now, here I'm just kind of marking out roughly how long I need each piece of tape and I'm going to create my own sticker. So I've got some of the excess of that white shimmer or white gold shimmer cardstock that I used and uh, I'm just taking the tape and putting it on the back and then I will run it through my die press a couple of times. I'll take it out and flip it around and then run it backwards kind of thing. So this gets enough cut because it is rather thick with the double-sided tape on the back. And I've made sure to remove all of the little negative spaces because what I'm about to do is take off all the release paper and use the stability of the die to place my sentiment on the front of the card. So you don't want to poke too hard on this because you don't want to poke through your paper. And this will just ensure that you don't get anything too floppy. And this is a lot easier to do. At least that I found anyway. So I'll do that to both of them. And that will finish up my cards. 
So after I've added a few embellishments, these are my finished cards. Here's the first one, and here are the two flat shaker cards, which I think turned out rather nice. And as promised, my two bonus cards. So which one did you like the best? I think I like them all, but I'm going to have a lot of fun with this hot foil plate. I think it's absolutely darling. So if you've enjoyed today's content, or found it helpful, please give this video a like. I also welcome you to subscribe, as I post weekly. Here's another video I think you might enjoy. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Take care.